HTML, Hypertext Markup Language. It is a language, a computer language used for web designing application. For T, this is long answer questions. And here you have to answer any six questions and each question carries five marks. Total is 30 marks. Execution of the program. So accordingly, whichever the program you are going to execute for that, execution of the program it carries six months dear students welcome to first year puc computer classes i am ravi kumar kr lecturer in computer science vidyasham pu college temple of excellence mysore in this first session let us see the syllabus for the first puc computer science now let us see the introduction part of it. This is the reference book for first PUC computer science classes. So this is prescribed by Department of Pre-University Board, Bangalore. Now let us see the topics or the syllabus for the first PUC computer science classes. And here all together there are 17 chapters are there. So all these are divided into different section. Now let us see the first part of it. And here the chapter one, this is overview of a computer. And what you have written here, this is the weightage of the chapter. In this chapter, you will get one MCQ and one two marks question and one five marks question. So total weightage is eight marks. So this is the chapter one overview of computer system. And students, in this chapter, we are going to learn from the basic definition of computer system and different parts of computer system and what is data, what is processing, what is information. Together, we are going to learn data processing cycle. Along with that, we are going to learn different classification of computers along with the history of computers and generation of computers. So generally, this chapter is the basic of computer system. So these you might have studied in your previous classes or in your schools. So this is chapter one, overview of a computer. Now the chapter two, this input, output and memory devices. Again, this is with respect to computer system. We are going to learn the definition of input unit, output unit, and memory devices. I mean here, for example, keyboard, and here monitor, mouse, and different type of memory devices, hard disk, CD-ROM drive, so on. So we are going to learn all the definitions with examples and how all these devices functions. So that is chapter two, input, output, and memory devices. Now chapter three, this is data representation. So this is a little bit of mathematics for you. Here, how do we represent data in computer system? So that is in this chapter, we are going to learn with different types of numbering system. That is in computer system, it works based on only binary numbers that is zero and one. So binary number system is one type of number system. Similarly, we have decimal number system, octal number system, hexadecimal number system and all these things we are going to learn in this chapter and also we are going to practice conversion of number system from one to another number system. So this is chapter three data representation weightage is here we have three marks question one and five marks question one total weightage is eight marks. Chapter four this is software concepts. So this software concept here, the weightage is, you'll get one two marks question and one three marks question, total weightage is five marks. So here we are going to learn the definition of what is a software, what are programs and different types of software. And along with we are going to learn different types of operating systems. And here we are going to learn different definitions related to computer software. Next chapter five, that is problem solving methodology. So from chapter one up to chapter four, we are going to learn about computer system, computer input device, output device, and different types of hardware, 
different types of software so on and students in chapter 5 problem solving methodology we are going to learn how to solve a computer problem or a problem given to you over a computer so we may have to follow so many steps or there are many predefined procedures those things we have to follow we are going to learn all the definition of different procedures and different types of approach to solve a particular problem along with different types of errors and what are different types of errors may arise during programming and also the algorithm pseudo code everything so we are going to learn all these things in the chapter 5 problem solving methodology next one is chapter 6 object oriented concepts so this is object oriented concepts or we say oops this is another method of programming so we are going to learn what is the definition of this what are all the characteristics of oops or object oriented programming along with the advantages applications and limitations of object oriented programming or oops concepts the weightage of the chapter is two here you'll get one two mark question next we move on to chapter seven this is introduction to c plus plus then chapter eight is data types and chapter nine is input output operators and chapter 10 control statements arrays functions user defined functions and structures see up to chapter 14 and here from chapter 7 up to chapter 14 we are going to learn the entire the basic of c++ programming concepts so under that we are going to study all the features of c++ under different chapter headings next chapter number 15 16 17 these are the three more chapters and weightage of chapter 15 is 1 plus 1 plus 0 plus 0 equal to 3 means you get one multiple choice question one two marks question total weightage is three marks so weightage of the chapter 15 is three marks and this is word processing here we are going to learn what is the definition of word processing and example of word processing and here we are going to learn ms word application software with respect to word processing and in ms word we are going to learn the basic or from the beginning how to open a file how to close a file and different features of ms word chapter number 16 is a spreadsheet weightage is 11 marks here you will get one one more question that is mcq multiple choice question and two five marks question total weightage is 11 marks so spreadsheet is another applications so we are going to learn ms excel as an example for spreadsheet software again we are going to learn from the beginning how to work with ms excel how to open ms excel how to save a file how to close your file then we are going to learn different features of ms excel so that is chapter number 16 spreadsheet and chapter 17 this is web designing weightage is 5 marks you will get one 5 marks question in this so web designing and so under this chapter we are going to learn the basic of html language html hypertext markup language it is a language a computer language used for web designing application we are going to learn the basic tags of html language that is the chapter web designing and along with this we are going to learn different terminologies with respect to website web designing the entire computer science paper is for 100 marks out of 100 marks theory is for 70 marks and whatever i have told you just now all the chapters all this comes under theory section so that is for 70 marks theory and practical for 30 marks total paper of computer science for first PUC is, is of 100 marks. Now let us see the question paper pattern of first PUC computer science. And here in the question paper, we have four sections. In four section, part A, in part A, we have multiple choice questions. There are 15 multiple choice questions, each carry one mark. So total is 15 marks. And again, under this part A, we have second 
we have five fill in the blanks with the options. So that is equal to five marks. Totally part A is of 15 marks. So this is part A and part B, this is short answer question. And here you're supposed to write four questions and each question carry two marks each, which is for eight marks. And in part C, it is a descriptive type questions. So here you have to answer four questions and each question carry three marks. Total weightage is 12 marks. And for D, this is long answer questions. And here you have to answer any six questions and each question carries five marks. Total is 30 marks. So total is here. This is for 70 marks. This is for theory. Now let us see the practicals. In computer science practical, we have, it is for 30 marks. And in practicals, there are three sections, A, B, C. In section A, it is C++ program. So there are around 16 programs are there for you in practical. I mean, there are 16 C++ programs. That is in section A. And there are four practicals for MS Excel. So in MS Excel, there are four problems. And last one is section three that is HTML, here there are two programs. So these are the programs to be practiced and this is your practical. Now let us move on to the next slide and here we will see how 30 mark is divided for different section. In practical C++ programs, it is one program is called six marks and one Excel or HTML, it is for six marks here in practical programs, you have to write two programs. One is from C++ and another program is from either Excel or HTML. So you have to write one C++ program that is for writing a program six marks and writing second program either HTML or Excel, it is again for six marks and execution of the program. So Accordingly, whichever the program you are going to execute, for that execution of the program, it carries six marks. After execution, two marks for output or the result. And another four marks for Viva. It is based on the questions you will get in the examination. And another six marks for records. So you are supposed to maintain a neat record book where you have to write all the programs, C++ program, HTML program, as well as MS Excel program. So that is maintaining a record book that is for six marks. So your 30 marks practicals is divided into different sections. Dear students, in this session, we have discussed the syllabus prescribed by the pre-university board for first PUC computer science students. Thank you very much.